These are the bits and pieces Gary sent us. I did mention the golf ball. There's also some collars here. These are actually inch ball collars. They'll go onto my new mill machine on the Arbor for spare size. There's quite a few of them. They'll be put to good use. These are interesting. It would appear to be a tailstock die holder set. They're not finished, they've been started. Um, I don't need a tailstock die holder, so I'm here well. Finish these off, resurrect them and use them. Some nice little bake light handles there. I'm sure I'll find a use for that. That's a, a real nice one, that real nice shape. Some bits of nice light wall steel tubing. Grass threaded bar. Chances are my friend Bob will end up with a, a lot of this stuff because he does make small models. There's a little drill packet here containing some very small drills. They're ideal for drilling fingernails. That's why you've braided them with a hammer. They're what I would call carburetor cobret jet drills, real fine ones. I'll put them away with the rest of the real fine drills. They like I say, ideal for drilling fingernails. The furnace runs on propane, propane and, propane and blue and air like draft there. It's now to turn the gas on and the air and hopefully the light. See there's two screws here that have held the sand in place. That's a little base in there at the bottom. There's a screw that's collected the there's a runner. This looks good.
see how fluid the bronze has been, how it's gone up the vent holes. Especially on that one. One machine is casting, and yeah, the bronze casting we've just done. All I need to do is machine that face flat, uh, mark out and drill the four holes. <coughs> There's also a hole got to be drilled through there at an angle and tapped. I think it was a quarter BSP. First thing I'll do is I'll mount in the four jaw chuck and just skin this face up. Here's what's bronze, and I don't want to mark it. I'm just going to put some aluminium protectors on just for the Face jaws do dig into the relatively soft brass or soft bronze. So just bits of bent aluminium to clip on you. The last for quite a while to pride along the last. So the last thing was I had in here but Just want to take enough off to make it flat, that's all. As long as it's running reasonably reasonably true. We'll get this face running as true as we can get it. I'm just going off the edges of the the chuck jaws to line it up as long as it's reasonably Considering it will be alright because I just machined a flat face. But we need to try and get this face here running as true as I possibly can. We're nearly touching there. Quite a big gap there, so we'll Ease it out a little bit. Not quite as much as that, bonny lad. It's actually kissing all four there, so it's not. A million mile over here. This boring bar to set it up with. Right, so it wants to go up, it wants to come across to me. So we'll loosen this one. Tighten that one straight away, it's a lot nearer. Cross this way a little bit more.
That's pretty good at that. Right, we'll continue machining the face flat. Bollocks. Just make sure nothing's moved. It doesn't appear to have. One or two little pop marks in just where the, the vents were. Take one more cut coming out like this time. Quite a decent finish. I could take some more off and remove those little marks, but it's, it's not necessary for what it's going to be doing. do very nicely. See what's going to happen, it's going to increase the pressure on the gasket. So this is none of this is critical, even the holes in the original one are actually tapered. The holes that have just been cast in are you know, quite big stud holes, a lot bigger than the actual studs that go through them. Let that dry now so we can mark that off a bit better. Right. Mark out the, the holes. This transfer punch is going to get very near. And all the holes are basically on the same the same circle as I've said this is a hundred year rule they weren't that fussy when they marked them out in the first place People are bound to say that I shouldn't use an old tap for a centre punch because it'll shatter. Well I've used one for the last 30 years and I haven't shattered one yet. That's not to say that it won't happen tomorrow. At least it fits in the vase, that's one thing. Then I hold it parallel with those like that and then just use me, me belly to tighten the vase. I'll ask Debsy to take the vase for us. <coughs> to you. Aye. That way. Aye. Okay. 
ದೇವ್ರು